right, three minutes. We're going to get started with our Fusion Impact class. Again, parents, you are welcome to join us. There's not a lot else to do right now uh, just to keep us active. I won't pin you down to testing. Don't worry. But if you want to do these workouts with us, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, I know this testing is kind of quick, but next testing, several parents have asked, if we do the workouts at home, can we test next time? Uh, and the answer is yes. So uh, you're welcome to do these with us. Love having you guys online. Even if you never want to test, you're still welcome to do these workouts. Um, so yeah, just have fun with this minute or two minutes and 30 seconds left. If you have a jump rope and space for it, you can grab it. If not, it's okay. You're still going to be able to do the same drills I'm doing. You just won't hurt your toes. So if you have a jump rope, great. If you don't have a jump rope, great. Either way, again, you can simulate the jump rope here. Uh, as we do, it'll be the same exercise for you. Your toes just won't get damaged like mine will. All right, two minutes. All right. Hey, Alex. So glad you guys are here. If you're not online with me, then it's literally just me staring at my computer screen and doing a workout by myself, which... I guess it's not all that unlike me, but still, uh, yeah, jump in, comment that you're here. Uh, again, we got about two minutes before we get started. Again, if you have a jump rope, grab it. If you don't have space or a jump rope, don't worry about it. You can still do this entire uh, warm-up drill without it. Very good. Grab a drink of water here. Grab a towel to dry off with. Hopefully, we get a good workout here. The main focus of today is going to be sparring and stretching. So we're going to do sparring and stretching. Uh, and then from there, hey, Griffin, all right, and Chance is here, very good, hey. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. Again, if you have a jump rope, grab it. If you don't have a jump rope for space, don't worry about it. All right, hey, Mr. Crosley, miss seeing you guys. Good, Eric, excellent. All right, hey, Chance, very good. So we got about a minute left. You guys are awesome. Again, there's a little bit of a lag between the comments and me seeing them, so uh, just be patient with me. <laughs> just Paul today. All right. I like it. All right. So we have less than a minute. Again, if you have a jump rope, great. If you don't have a jump rope, no problem. No worries. All right. Hey, Benias. So glad you guys are here making use of the best that we can do here. Uh, and I, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling it. The past couple days doing these workouts, feeling stronger. My legs, when I woke up this morning, could feel the stretches from yesterday. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today. Now, you will. People ask, are we going to see the other instructors? Right now, we're just not having the other instructors come in to do classes. So we're doing the logistics of some of our instructors teaching from home so that you can see all the other instructors, your favorite instructors from Alma. Uh, so you're stuck with me for the next day or two, but be patient. You will get to see some of your other favorite instructors as well. All right. All right, Katie. Awesome. So glad you guys made it on here. Mr. Fiani as well. Five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and make this window... Kind of out of our way a little bit. Actually, I'm going to keep it up for a second because we are going to use it. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to go minute and 10 seconds. Set that. Don't have to do anything yet, so I'm going to unclick it. Okay. All right, guys. So, again, for the next 30, 40 minutes, the room you're in right now is your dojo. It's your martial arts school. It's your personal ULMA. Uh, and I'm so glad you guys have joined me for this workout. Uh, again, if you're watching this live, comment that you're here, uh, communicate with me, let me know how things are going throughout the workout. Uh, and then from there, if you're not watching live, still comment as if you're watching, okay? Uh, we love watching the comments coming in. Uh, make sure you put your name in so you get that class credit. We'll make sure you get that. You guys are awesome. All right, here we go. Ready? Face front. Good. Strong bow. Academy tense. Begin. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect, sir. Strong bow. All right. We're going to go straight to the jumping jacks, or skipping jumping jacks, going straight to the jump rope. So again, if you don't have a rope, it's okay. You can be really fancy. All right. So feet together, you're just going to kind of make the same motion, small circles with your forearms to get your upper body. You can do bigger circles if you want to. All right. You can do silly tricks with it, whatever you want to do. All right. Again, if you have a jump rope, awesome. It is one of the best ways to work cardiovascular health uh, at home. All right. Both caps. All right. Double caps. Here we go. So again, be patient. We're going to get out of the one minute mark. Once we get to the one minute mark, we're going to get started. All right. Again, just get, make that same motion as if you've got a rope in your hands. Going for one minute at a time. Good. Nice rhythm here. You can go, you can kind of go one foot than the other. Excellent. I'm going to go closer so I can see. Miss Baldwin in the house as well. Good. And just kind of get a nice motion. That's it. Get everything moving here. This is a whole body workout when we work on this jump rope. Again, if there's one thing you pick up while we're closed right now or while we're online, we're not closed, we're online. <laughs> it's a jump rope. Great thing to work on. 
See if Amazon can get that to you the next day or so. 20 seconds. All right. All right. Good. 15 seconds. Doing good. Keep it up. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Having the last five seconds go so slow. 2, 1, and time. Good. Hey there, Miss Baldwin. Miss Baldwin. All right, good. Catch your breath for a minute. Please wide your sh shoulders. Neck rotations. Deep breath as you go, deep breath out, other way. Get nice and warm up, ready to go. Good. From there, arm circles forward. Don't worry, we have more jump rope. That wasn't it, that was just phase one. Good, backward circles. Good. All right, good, go ahead and grab your rope. We have one more minute on the clock. Again, when it gets down to the minute mark, we'll get started. And then anytime again, remember, if you're just jumping on and you don't have a jump rope, you can just simulate. You can jog in place. You can do a lot of things, but use your arms also. Here we go. All right. Good. You got it. Just do your best. Even jogging in place, that's perfectly fine. If you have a good imagination, you can do fancy tricks. You have backs, jumping jacks. Here we go. Good. Crossovers. I don't want to do that anymore. Here we go. <laughs> good. Doubles. Oh, that was dangerous. Dangerous. Oh. And I hit myself with force. There you go, good. I'm gonna cross over this way. Good. 30 seconds left. You're doing great. Keep it up. Keep breathing. 25 seconds left. Good. 20 seconds. Almost there. Good. Almost there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 15, 14, 13. These numbers go fast. Wait till you get time to five. It takes forever. Doing great though. Keep it up. Uh -huh. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, arms back and forth. Cross the body, getting warm. Starting to feel the burn, forehead glistening. Good, up and down. All right, good, good, good. Excellent, from there, feet twice, low shoulders, we're on the top side to side. Good, all over. This is an oblique stretch, so it helps the muscles inside. So try to go all over, reach over your head, twist side to side. Good pace of breathing here. All the way, twist and twist and twist. If you have a partner, you can give them a high five. High five, high five. Legs straight, twist down low side to side. Good, straighten down one side and then the other side. Try to bring your chest close to your knee. Good, hands on the floor, Spider-Man stretch. Over to one side. Other side, feel that stretch in your hamstring. Good. Good. One more time this way. One more time this way. And one more time this way. We're gonna get one more round jump rope, but this time it's only gonna be 30 seconds. If I can get the clock set right. It's gonna look like 40 seconds, but we're gonna wait till it gets down to the 30. All right. So when it gets down to the 30 minute, 30 minute, oh lord, 30 second mark, we're going to go 30 seconds of turbo speed, okay? So what that means is if you're running place, you're running place fast. If you're jump rope or simulated jump rope, you're going quick as you can for 30 seconds. All right. Wait till it gets there. Four, three, two, one, and go. Try to monitor your pace, monitor your breathing, don't hold your breath. 23 seconds left, turbo speed. We're going, we're hustling. Again, working, stretching and sparring today to get warm so we can stretch. 15 seconds. Whoa, go slow down, go slow down. Here we go, 12 seconds. 10 seconds. Doing great, keep it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And be gone, jump rope. All right, I'm gonna put the timer down here. You guys did great. And time to stretch. So one of our big goals when you guys get back, when we get back in here, real live classes, is to be a little more flexible than when you left, okay? And a great way to do that is to stretch. While you're home, even if you are doing these classes twice a week, maybe pick up a third day where you just do the warm up and the stretches, okay? And that really helps to make your flexibility last uh, a little bit longer, okay? Throw those back to the toe stretch. So what would it look like for the next couple of weeks if you decided you're gonna do a stretching routine every day? Not the class every day, but the stretching routine every day. 
you know, just a part of your, your daily routine over the next couple of weeks, that would really improve your flexibility in the long term. All right, cobra stretch, hips down, shoulders up. Stretching our core. We're back to our core blaster workout at the end, so don't worry, it's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna love it. That's marketing right there. All right, good, cat back, head down, shoulders up. As I do this stretch, I can also stretch my forearms, my wrist, so I can go like this and put my hands palm down and stretch as I go up high, I can feel that stretch. I can even go palms down with my fingertips pointed at my knees. Again, get that wrist and forearm nice and flexible. Good. And down to the back bow. Arms up, legs up, heads up. Hopefully you don't have any animals in the room. If you do, they're probably on top of you right now. Not the most awesome thing during the workout. Good, and down. Have a seat. All right, we're gonna get five regular back rollers, then five with your legs straight. All right, here we go, ready? And one. Wipe your sweat. <laughs> Two. Good. Three. Four. Pace yourself. Don't get stuck, Griffin. Five. All right, legs straight. Go all the way back if you can. One, almost. And two. Good. As far as you can, hold it. First, second, then forward. Three. Two more. Four. One more. And five. All right, good. Legs straight, feet together. Stretching far. As low as you can stretch here. Head down. Nice and low. Ten seconds. Here we go. Ready? Ten. Nine. Hey there, Miss Brashad. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, one leg straight, I like that hurdler stretch. So from here, again, I want this knee a little bit further back if I can. Okay, that just engages the stretch a little more my hip flexor. All right, from there, chest forward, reaching out. Here we go, hold it at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, a little bit lower. Three, two, one, switch, other side, all right. Doing good, guys. Gang and guys. So I've kind of combined those words into one. Doing good, gang. Keep it up. Here you go. Legs straight. Reach. Head down low. Hold that stretch. Ten. Nine. Eight. A little bit lower. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And take your right leg or left if you're Mrs. Rochette. You don't have to do this backwards. All right. Cross it over. Hey, Aiden. All right. Good. Cross it over. And then twisting that side. So whatever knee is up, that's the direction we're twisting our body. As we do this stretch, engage our back. Good. Switch other side. Woo. All right. Good. Now from there, we're going to lay back, pull one knee to our chest, other leg straight. So as we're doing this, this should look like the chamber of a front kick. So I'm not pointing my toes here. I'm putting my toes back this way. So my knee comes in, my heel goes down from my rear, and I'm getting a nice tight chamber like a front kick. Good. Then switch. That's it. Then switch. Then switch. And switch. Excellent. All right, let's go and sit up. Legs out to a V. So as we do these stretches here, really important I don't pull on my neck. Kind of like in a sit up, I don't want to pull on my neck. On this, I don't either. So I don't want to go here and pull my neck down. I want to keep my back straight if I can and just go side to side. So if you're watching your screen, for this stretch, you want to keep your eyes on the screen the whole time, okay? And unless your screen is like really high, okay, like mounted above your, your fireplace or whatever, that'd be hard to look that high. But if it's right in front of you, try to keep your eyes on the screen the whole time. I'll try to keep my eyes on the screen too. Here we go, ready? Side to side is one, let's get 10. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, keep it up. Six, sir, almost there, seven, good. That's eight, keep it up. Nine, last one, 10 and 10. All right, from there, legs out a little bit wider. And stretch on your own, right side, left side, down in the middle. Get a good stretch here, gang. Whew. Again, making good use of the time that we have at home right now to get more flexible, get better cardio, get ready for testing this next week. It's going to be super fun the way we're going to do our testings. Uh, you get to do one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, how often do you get to do one-on-one -on -one with one of the instructors, okay? So they're going to help you out. They're going to walk you through everything. They're going to watch you do your stuff, and you're going to get to test, uh, you know, so we don't get behind and keep you guys going. If you didn't want to read the email that came yesterday, uh, make sure you and your parents read that email and uh, kind of go through that, ask any questions. If you did not get an email yesterday, make sure you let us know because that talks about how we're doing testing and also how next testing is going to work. For those of you that are dedicating yourself to doing these classes online, you're getting a nice reward uh, for doing that. Okay, so here we go. Last couple seconds of the stretch. Good. All right, last one, butterfly stretch. Bottoms repeat together. Moving up and down like butterfly wings. 
or you can push them straight down to the floor if you can. All right, go ahead and hop up. I'm going to get a drink of water while you get five more jumping jacks. Ready? Go for it. Dun, 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 dun. Five more jumping jacks. All right. Good. All right, so again, we have fusion and adults and kids. If you're in here also, that's perfect. I mean, you guys can do this workout. Uh, as we go through this drill here, we want to make sure that we are focused on details, okay? So we're going to work mainly on sparring. We're going to hit uh, really quickly on some forms and see if you guys have any questions on the forms. We're also going to work our self-defense a little bit. When I do my form, I'm going to flip the camera here so we're mirror image. People have said that that helps a lot. So this is my left, and it should be on the left side of your screen. So if I go this way, you'll go that way. But the details of our form is what makes it nice. It's what makes it look sharp. So if I'm dressed up to go somewhere, which I don't know when that's going to be, but if I'm wearing a suit and my shirt is untucked and the tie knot is not correct and, and you know, I've got a stain on the jacket and you know, my, my zipper's down in my pants, those are details that are going to really make me stand out in a negative way when I go to some party, right? So the details of... Of, of that you know outfit would be you know looking sharp right shirt tucked in tie looking sharp you know definitely no stains all right so those details is what makes it really nice okay so dressing up and dressing up and looking nice are two different things doing my form and doing it right are two different things so starting off even my attention stance so at the tournament a couple weeks ago I saw two different kinds of students okay the kind that was a little bit shy they would call in after the middle for the form they'd come out yes sir Face front, yes sir. Canadian down, yes sir. Chubby, yes sir. It was kind of shy almost. And I saw the other ones, they came to perform, okay? When they called anyone, they said, yes sir. They ran out, locked it in. They said, Canadian down, yes sir. Chubby stands, yes sir. And they locked everything in. And already in the judge's mind, they couldn't wait to watch this form. And they already kind of were giving them a high score when all they did was bow and do this, okay? So the way we do this is important. So again, sharp bow. I always go about half the speed down that I come up okay so I would come down here and then snap up all right you can come down fast and then come up so just a little bit of detail so I go down sorry a little bit faster than I come up so snap down and then coming up from there all right then ready sense I bring my hands up I shoot them down right there this represents not having weapons on me okay so from here left hand is on top little details as I cross it on top it's turned in like I'm scratching my neck so it's not turned out my my wrist should be palm in facing me the other hand is on bottom, palm out. All right, elbow on top of elbow, and I shoot that low ball down. Another detail is this hand shot back here. Look at my elbow. See, it's not here. I want it pulled back here. Recross again, chop. Black belts have a twist kick. Everybody else, we have a side kick when we land, back arm punch. Coming together, watch my timing. As I step together, I'm crossing. When it lands, boom, I snap that, punch, that block out. So I go from here, I cross, boom, I land with the block, okay? Then I recross, chop. Twist kick for black belt, side kick for everybody else, land back arm punch. Detail here, point, prepare, okay? Again, this just looks really sharp as a prep. Boom, chop in. Step, boom, chop in. Thumbs in, fingers out. Hiya! Knee strike, landing feet together. All right, go in section two. I know this is hard because not only is it mirror image, but you're also trying to look over your shoulder. We're all doing the best we can, right? So take your right side, right arm crosses on top. Step out your right front stance, low block. From here, back arm palm strike, back leg front kick for purple belts and below, axe kick for brown and red, front kick axe kick for black belt. So I'm gonna do the black belt version. So again, I did my low block with my right, palm with my left, then put your kick, axe rumbling, hug my leg, I land with that low block again. Back arm palm strike again. Now my right leg does whatever kick I just did with my left, land, back arm punch, hop switch leg, yeah, oh, not yet, punch, now my right leg. Hey on, knee strike, landing together, facing this way. If you have a section three, those blue belts and above, so section three, I step out, low block. Blue and purple, double round kick. Brown and red, double, I'm sorry, yes, brown and red, double round kick, spin crescent kick. Black belts, triple round, jump spin crescent kick. Okay, I'm gonna do the brown belt version, and if you're not comfortable jumping at home, black belts, please don't. All right, so again, double round kick, no spin for blue, purple. Double round spin for brown and red. Triple round jump spin for black belts. Here you go. So from that low block, I'm going to do brown red. One, two. Spin crescent. Come back with an elbow strike. So I should have my right leg the one that kicked back behind me. Right arm with the elbow. Left leg is in front. So you should look just like me. So you have this leg in front. We're both facing that way with our bodies. All right. Now step back. Right side in front. Low block. Okay. So again, body facing this way. Right leg is going to come up. Double or triple depending on what rank you are. Red and brown belt. Spin crescent. Elbow that lands behind me. 
That was a terrible landing, but we got the point. Good. Skip round kick for blue and purple. Here, boom. Up with back through the front jump round kick for brown and red. And then drop round kick for black belts. When I come up, cross my wrist, twin chop down. All right, very good. So if you want more help with that, wait till this video is over. Then go back and watch this video. Fast forward to right now and check it out. You can also watch the, the forms videos that are in the uh, media section of the group. Good. All right, here we go. I'm going to get a quick drink of water. You may do so also. Good. Excellent. All right. So from here, we're going to go on to some sparring practice. I had the kids class put their sparring gear on. You don't need to do that. I was just trying to help them, first of all, get used to doing that, get more practice putting pads on. Sometimes that's very important to, to be able to get our pads on fast, and sometimes if we don't do it for a while, we get slower at it. So we're not putting our pads on. We are going to do some sparring. So here's how this is going to work. Um, some of you do have someone you can spar. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. I'll, I'll set the timer. You can do that for our, one of our drills, but you do need to probably get your pads on for that. But as we go through these sparring drills, we're going to do a little bit of follow the leader. So whatever I do, you guys are going to do, okay? So you can put your favorite leg in front as we spar. We're going to move around a little bit. And then after we work these sparring combinations, uh, we're then going to go through kind of quick self-defense drill to make sure we know what that is. And then from there, we're going to stretch like a hardcore, really good end of workout stretch. One of my favorite stretching routines uh, that we're going to go through. All right. So sparring again, as I spar, I want to be light on my feet, on my arms to be relaxed, but up in place. Okay. I don't want them firm. If my arms are firm or too strong like that, they're going to be slow when I need to block low, okay? So I want my hands to be up, but I want to look very relaxed. Some of the best fighters in the world, they look extremely relaxed. They don't look tense at all, okay? And they're conserving energy, but they're also relaxed because they can be faster when we're relaxed, okay? So we're going to be nice and light our feet. I'm not jumping or moving anything. My ball and my feet are on the floor. My heels are not. I'm just kind of moving around a little bit. Good. All right, so stay with me. We're going to stay light on our feet. Favorite leg in front. All right, we're just going to start nice and easy with a front kick, axe kick. You can choose to put it down in between or not, okay? So if you want to go one, two, you can. Or if you want to go one, touch, two. Here's why I like this combo. First of all, when I do the front kick, where does their arm go? It goes down. Then I do the axe kick, where does their arm go? Back up, right? So I'm kind of controlling that front arm. If they don't bring their hand up fast enough, the axe kick hits them, okay? So I go here, touch, axe, or one, two, okay? Like I told the last class, one of my favorite things to do with an axe kick is knock my partner's hand out of the way. All right, so here we go, nice and light our feet. Front, axe. Good, try to follow along with me. One, two, good. One, two, that's it. One, two, one more time. Front, axe. And again, you can choose to put that down or not. All right, well, that's a good start, but it's not good finish, so I wanna finish it, okay? So I go here, they get their hand down, as they get their hand up, I knock it down, I come at them with a back fist. Where does their hand go now? It comes right back up to guard. So I kick low, I knock their hand down, they pop it back up as I go to back fist. I'm going to keep that hand there and punch low, then bring both arms back. So it looks like this. Front, axe, back fist punch, and then pull back. Let's do it together. So we're nice and light. Again, I'm not jumping, my feet aren't even moving off the floor, my heels are just kind of bouncing up and down, right? Here we go. Hands are here, and front, axe. Back fist punch, back to guard. Good, relax, relax. Good, front, axe, back fist punch. Good, two more times. Front, axe, back fist punch. One more time. Good, front, axe, back fist punch. All right, so that's what we're gonna call combo one for today. Now, combo number two for today, we're gonna work a little bit different. So depending on how my partner's turned, I may have their body facing this way or this way, okay? For a roundhouse kick to the body, I have to have them facing the same way that my round kick would go so that they can, they can touch here because I'm not allowed to kick my partner in the back. So this is, really works out better when I'm sparring somebody who's in that same stance I am, left leg to left leg or right leg to right leg, okay? And then the third combo is going to work on somebody who is on the other side, okay? So their body's facing the opposite of mine. They're facing that way so that round kick to the body is nice, okay? So the way I'm going to start off with this is I'm going to go double round kick, which we do a lot. One, two, all right? From there, as I go forward, okay, or as my partner is forward, I'm gonna add a spin side in. So I'm gonna go one, two, land, spin side. Now I'm gonna give you a little trick with my spin side. When I finish with this round kick, watch, I turn and I put it facing that way. Now as I turn, it's only a half turn for my right side kick, okay? So whatever you have in front, we're gonna go round, round, spin side. 
And that spin side will come right under their armpit, basically anywhere down in here. So ready? Round, round, spin side. A couple times. Don't hit your TV. Round, round, spin side. Good. Again, lighten our feet. Light our feet, good. Round, round, spin side. One more time, relax. Good, round, round, spin side. All right, very good. So if you were on your spin side, came towards the camera and fell forward, that's good. If you're doing your spin side though, and you're getting off balance like that, very easy to fix this, okay? So let's work on that spin side for a minute. So watch, what I'm gonna do, my all spin kicks are done with my back leg, turn towards my back leg, so my left leg is behind me. As I turn, my left shoulder becomes my front shoulder and stays my front shoulder. If I focus on that, on this shoulder staying in front of me, I should fall forward. If this shoulder keeps going though, that's when I get off balance and I do a really bad spin side. Okay, so here, turn that left shoulder, or if you're on the right side, right shoulder, your back shoulder becomes your front shoulder and kind of fall forward a little bit. I don't want you to be off balance, but the idea is I want to go forward, especially if you're breaking boards with this. So turn, side kick, land. Let's do that one more time, just a great practice. Get this shoulder to stop spinning, okay? Excellent. Now, this one works when my partner's body is facing the same way mine is. So I can't round kick them in the back because it's an illegal target. But what I can do is I can hook kick and touch them in the body here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my friend here to kind of demonstrate this. He has no fever whatsoever, no temperature, okay? He's perfectly healthy, okay? So from here, I want you to see this. So as I'm, nope, sorry, Bob, turn around, buddy. So as I'm sparring with Bob here, I'm lined up with him. Our bodies are both facing the same direction. I can't kick him in the back. So what I do here is I side kick, pull it back, and then basically I'm slapping him in the belly, all right, with the bottom of my foot. So I'm here, okay? So if, if I was sparring, obviously I wouldn't touch hard from here. Okay, I'm just hitting with the bottom foot, so it's a hook kick. It's called a snap hook because it kind of it doesn't come fully chambered. So watch, I side, don't fully chamber, hook. All right, so it's one, two. Okay, so let me get Bob out of the way. Thank you for your help, buddy. You did great. So side hook. So I'm coming back, side hook. All right, again, where this is attacking, the side kick is attacking here, but the hook kick is attacking here. When they see it though, they're gonna look at it as almost like a bad side kick, so they're probably not gonna block it correctly, which is great for us. So what we're gonna come back with is a knife hand. The reason we're coming with a knife hand is because it's a longer reach hand technique, and a hook kick is gonna be a longer reach kicking technique, okay? So I'm gonna side, hook, chop high, punch low. Again, side, hook, chop, punch. Notice as I was done with the chop, I brought it right back to guard. See how closed off I am? If I do my chop, Punch, now see how open I am, right? So I wanna keep that guard up. Here we go, ready? Light, side, hook to the body, chop punch. Right back to guard. Good, side, hook to the body, chop punch. Relax, relax, relax. Good, side, hook, chop punch. One more time, nice and relax. Side, hook, chop punch. All right, great job. So now we're gonna do a round of sparring. It's gonna feel a little silly. I'm okay with silly because I'm not right there for you to spar with. But hey, you can at least say you spar with a seventh degree today. So we're gonna set the timer for a minute. I know it says a minute five. I'm gonna, when it gets out of the minute, we're gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a sparring combination at a very medium speed. What I want you to do is block as if you were sparring with me, okay? Do the correct blocks. Okay, so if I aim a front kick, you would low block. If I do a punch, you would outside block, okay? So do the correct block you think that I would, you would need uh, to not get hit by it, okay? So then from there, I want you to do a combination, and I'm going to pretend to block, okay? And then we're going to go back and forth. So I'll tell you when to start here. I'll go first because higher belts are supposed to go first, and I think I'm the highest belt in this group. All right, so here we're going to relax. Good. All right, so follow along. You're going to block. I'm going to attack. Okay, ready? So you're going to try to block. 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 All right, and then your turn to kick and punch. All right, you do a combo. I'm going to pretend I'm sparring with you. I cannot see you, so you have a lot likely chance of hitting me than I am hitting you. All right, my turn again, okay? Here we go. Oh. All right, hopefully I'm getting some of you. That's right. All right, here we go. Your turn. So block, block. Good. You're kicking and punching. I'm blocking. Good. All right, my turn. Here we go. Oh, I got the jump kick. I get you. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Your turn. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. 
Good. All right, my turn. All right, your turn. Try that combo. All right, good. My turn. All right, your turn. Finish up strong. <laughs> awesome. All right, good job. I know it seems a little strange, but here's the deal. We do what we got to do to get where we need to get. So from here, get in one more drink of water. My throat is getting super dry. Awesome. All right, who's still with me? Who's still here? Say something in the chat box if you're still with me, still alive, because we are ready to practice self-defense real quick and then do our end of class stretch. Good. All right, so, hey guys, all right, very good. So our self-defense drill is palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down, elbow, down, elbow, knee strike, knee strike, break ball, getting up in base, okay? So as we do this, of course, Break ball getting up in base is also getting me stronger so that when I have to, if I have to do a break ball getting up in base, I can do it quickly and efficiently. Okay? Awesome. So from here, what we've got is from our self defense stance, hey, calm down, don't want to fight you. You know, you know, awesome. So, you know, calm down, don't want to fight. And from here, I'm shooting that palm strike forward. Okay? So the idea with this is, is I'm not starting a fight, but they're lunging at me and I've got to do something to protect myself. Okay? So I'm here, whoa, whoa, calm down. One, two. From there, they keep engaging, or I miss, elbow, elbow, all right? Then they're coming like they're gonna try to tackle me, so I drop my elbows down, and then I knee strike, knee strike, and then I just get tired and fall down. <laughs> Not really, but this is good practice. All right, so let's go from here, ready? Ready, palm, palm, elbow one, elbow two, down elbow three, good. And then from there, knee strike, knee strike. Then I'm sitting, okay, well, like I'm sitting on a little chair, roll back, pop, okay? Sitting up, hands up. If the, well, we worked on this yesterday, if the person was close to me who would knock me down, I would be on my side, the side kick, okay? But I plant one foot and one hand. Then from there, this hand's up to block. I lift my hip off the floor. I take this foot, foot that's way up in front of me, and I bring it behind this hand. So I'm here, I lift, then I pull back, and slide back out of the way, okay? All right, we're gonna go a little bit faster next time, so do your best pace. Here we go, ready? One, two. Two, downward elbow, downward elbow, knee strike, knee strike, sit, roll, pop, come up, and scoot back. All right, again, we're gonna do this three times, three more times, ready? Palm, palm, elbow, elbow, down elbow, down elbow, knee strike, knee strike, sit, pop, come back, thread the needle, and scoot. Good, two more times, here we go. A little hard, but more power, here we go. One, two, elbow, one, elbow, two, down elbow, down elbow, knee. Knee, sit, hop, come up. Excellent, all right, one more time, then we stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh my goodness, so much sweat's happening right here. Here we go, ready? One, two, elbow, elbow, down, down. Knee strike one, knee strike two, sitting, pop. All right, get a sip of water, and then get ready to stretch. Like you've never stretched, well, you've probably stretched before. Mary got the hook kick. <laughs> I thought it's all lunch. I am getting hungry now that you say that. All right, here we go. First things first, our legs are pretty warmed up right now. So we're gonna do some active leg stretches. So as we do this, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. What I wanna do is bring my back leg up until I feel it tight. Up until I feel it tight. But each time I go, I want it to go just a little bit higher, okay? So we're gonna go 10 on each leg. So with me, here we go. I'm gonna do my, my bad leg first here. Here we go, ready? And there's one, I'm getting 10. Two, a little bit higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, a little bit higher. Eight, nine, highest one, 10. Other side, here we go, ready? And one. Two, good, monitor your breathing. Three, four, a little bit higher. Five, getting it. Six, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, highest one, ten. All right, very good. Now, for this one, it'd be good to have something to hold on to. Okay, so if you have something to hold on to, like a side of the couch, uh, a chair real quick, I'll give you a minute to get something. So what we're doing here is I'm gonna turn one foot 
facing the chair or wherever we're holding on to. Okay? You can even lean on something like this or hold a wall. I'm going to keep my toes of my other foot pointed at you, and I'm going to swing it up this way. Okay? So we're going to get 10 of these on each leg. I'm going to do five, and then five, and then five, and then five, just because it's a good rotation here. Okay? Here we go. And give you a minute just in case you're still grabbing something to hold on to. You may not need something to hold on to. I mean, you could do these without something. All right? Good. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to switch. You guys can just turn around if you want to. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. Go a little bit higher now. My watch is encouraging me to work out today. What is the thing I'm doing right now? Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Woo! Last five. One. Ooh, something popped. At my age, I don't know if that's good or bad. Four, five. All right, good. We won't need that chair again. Just kind of helps for that one. All right. From here, a lot of you have done this active or this stretching routine on the floor. We did this uh, a couple times last week. So you're gonna go one knee down, one knee up. So if you're facing me, do the exact same side I'm doing. Good. All right. So one knee up, one knee down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on pushing my back foot down into the floor and my back hand or my hand uh, on the floor here bounce. Okay. So I'm pressing this foot down. All right. So about 20 seconds on each of these stretches. So you're gonna feel these for sure. Good. Keep it up. Push that foot down into the carpet or the mat or whatever it is that you're using. Remember, reach out to us if you have space and you'd like to borrow some mats. Uh, you just message us and let us know, and we'll meet you at the center of the location. And you can borrow a couple of mats if that's something that would help you to get your training done a little bit better. Good. From here, we're going to reach our hand back, grab your foot, point it back towards your back, quadricep stretch. So I've got my foot in my hand here, this way. I'm leaning my hip down and pulling this foot in. 20 seconds. Doing good. You can keep it up. These stretches are amazing as you do them over time. If you don't like them now, Griffin, you got this. If you don't like them now, you will like them the more you do them. Good. Release that. Straighten that front leg. So still the same leg in front. Now I'm going to reach forward, chest down, hands reaching out. If you can, make a diamond around your heel. If not, that's okay. Hands here, okay, or reach further than your heel. Hold it about 20 seconds. Good. Get that good stretch. The lower you get your chest, the better. Give your leg a hug. Show your leg some love. All right, this is everyone's favorite stretch. All right, I'm going to push my front leg as far forward as I can and push my back foot as far back as I can. This view for you is actually really good because you can see my legs are staying in a straight line with each other. So I don't want this leg to go out this way or to go this way, okay? I want my this leg to go straight ahead. I want my back foot to stay in line and go straight backwards as far as it can. Good. Hold that stretch. If you have the stretch, keep the pinky toe on the floor of your back foot. If you want to stretch lower here, you can, or you can sit up. Either way, hold that stretch. I know it's not the most fun thing, but it is once you've done it a lot, okay? Good. All right. And then, come for here. Roll it over side kick stretch. Now I'm going to inside of my back foot, inside of my front foot, inside of my back knee. So my back foot, you can see it's facing backwards. Elbows down. Good. Stretch in that side kick stretch. If you can, slide that foot a little bit further. Good. Hold it. We're getting 20 seconds all together. That's all right. And switch. Now we've got our right knee up, left knee down, okay? Or whichever side you didn't do yet. And then from there, hand on the floor, pressing this foot down into the mat. Stretching forward. Hopefully you guys got a good sweat today. We have these stretches and two more after this. And again, the goal, whole goal here is to come back better than when we left. All right, right hand reaches back, grab your foot, pulling your back towards your back, quadricep stretch. This is typically when I get a cramp, so uh, not right now. Okay, good. All right, stretching forward. Again, if you don't feel the stretch, push your belt or your hip down to the floor. Hold it. A few more seconds. Almost there. Almost there, guys. Good. And relax that. Stretch that foot back. Again, keep that leg straight now. Stretching over the front leg. Hamstring stretch. As you go forward, as low as you can. Keep that leg straight. Good. Stretching, stretching, stretching. Hold that stretch. All right, the house favorite. Again, I'm going to try to keep my front leg straight in front of me. Back leg slides back as far as it can go. And hold that stretch down. 
Again, a lot of you know this. I've told you this a lot of times. I'm not a flexible person by nature. I'm not, I don't have any natural flexibility. When I joined and I was 12 years old, I couldn't touch my toes all the way. All right? And it just takes time and effort. And you put time and effort into anything, you're going to get better. So keep on doing your best to get more flexible. Roll to the side, deep stretch. Inside your front foot, inside your back foot, inside your back knee. Good. We have the luxury now of having a lot of time on our hands. What, could, what else are we going to do? Uh, other than get better at something, right? So this is a great thing to practice on, flexibility. And once you have it, it's one of those things that just feels good, okay? So that front split, you know, I'm almost all the way down that front split. It just feels good to be back. Uh, last year about this time, I was not that far down on my splits, okay? So from here, we're gonna go side splits, which I don't have all the way, all right? And some of you do, so do your best. We're gonna have our hands on the floor, legs out. You can turn your feet sideways like this, and I'm just gonna slowly let them go out as far as they can go. If you have carpet, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. If you have carpet, you can sit down and relax. You can grab paper plates, and it sounds amazing. You put one paper plate under each foot and slide it out. That works a lot. So if your feet are having a hard time on carpet or floor you're on, try paper plate under those next time, and that's a good stretch. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Here we go. So I'm here, sliding them out as far as I can. Good, get your elbows down. I'm just gonna hold this stretch. Every once in a while, as it goes numb, <laughs> push one foot out a little bit further and hold. Good. Another thing that works well is, is furniture movers, those little pads you can move furniture with. Those also work really well for these stretches and for the front splits. Good. Hold it a few more seconds. Slide it out a little bit further if you can. Good. Then we're going to sit back. Last stretch here, or the second to last stretch. We're going to pull one knee in like straight. And stretch that out a little bit. And we've got one more stretch that really works well for hip flexors and your low back. It's called the figure four stretch. All right, so I'm gonna do a figure four stretch now. So from here, what I'm do, gonna do, straighten my right leg, I'll angle myself here. So I'm gonna angle, put this leg up. This leg comes over my knee here. I can either reach through and grab my thigh here, pull, okay? Or if I can, I'm gonna reach out and grab my ankle up here or my calf. All right, and hold that stretch. Either one, you can even bend that leg if you want to. All right, and grab your knee, your shin. Good, hold that stretch. Deep breath in. As you exhale, pull it a little bit tighter for the last five seconds, ready? Good, all right, switch it up. Other leg straight, other leg bent. Again, you can bend that leg if you want, reach through and grab your shin, or you can keep it straight and grab your ankle if you want. Good, good stretch here, your hip flexor. Deep breath in, as you exhale, pull it tighter. Three, two, one, and time. All right, awesome job, gang. So, if you need more help on any of the curriculum we've worked on, make sure you ask, jump out, let us know if you need a private lesson. We are going to be setting up Zoom private lessons this week and next week for those of you that need the extra help. A couple things to keep in mind for testing next week. We are doing them virtually, so you're going to be on with an instructor. Um, when you do your testing, we're not going to be as concerned with the sequence. I know some people are really concerned about getting the sequence of their form right. We're not going to worry about that this cycle. We have to do what we have to do to get through this season before you guys are back in your training with me. Love that you guys were here. Comment down below your favorite parts. Don't tell me the bad stuff that you didn't like. But I can't wait to see you guys back on the mat very, very soon. You guys did a great job. And we'll see you soon.